Hi, I'm Emily Rindos. And I'm Melissa Noble. And today we're joined by Maddie Valillo, who was selected to represent the Woman of Woodland 2020 campaign. Hi. Um, so today we have a bunch of questions that we're going to ask Maddie um, to get to know her better for Women of Woodland. So All right. to start us off, um, have you ever had a nickname? And if you have, what is it? Yeah, so my full name is Madeline, and a lot of people, mostly everybody, refers to me as Maddie. And lately, as of a few years ago, people have started referring to me as Chunny, <laughs> which is actually my um, Chinese birth name. Wow. Oh, okay. I Interesting. Did not know yeah, that. no, I, I didn't know that was your birth name. I honestly well, just it's thought Chun. it was. It's Chun. Okay. So it's a little spin off of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, second question is what makes you laugh the most? My friends. And Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Twitter is definitely so funny, but my friends also are really funny on Twitter. We send each other a lot of funny memes. Um, I like to surround myself with happy people, generally fun people, so no matter what we do, we're always having a good time and laughing. I love that. Um, okay, do you collect anything? Not at the top of my head. Okay. Have you ever? When I was little... I used to collect rocks. <laughs> no, I did. I remember that. I cleaned my room a little while ago. <laughs> what would you do with the rocks? I would just hold on to them. They looked pretty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is there anything you want to collect or like wish that you collected? No, because I I'm I'm too um I like to be a minimalist, mm -hmm. but I'm also really um picky. So like if I started collecting a bunch of things, I might not want them and I'd get rid of all of them. Yeah. So I just don't find the time in it. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. What is the worst gift you've ever received? Oh, definitely when I was little, my grandma used to get me a lot of clothes and they weren't my style at all. But it was like at Christmas time. And you know, when you're like older, like relatives get you gifts, you have to be appreciative. Yeah. Even though you hate them. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to like be, oh my God, like this is so awesome. Thank you so much. And then deep down inside, I would like die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember one piece of clothing that is was the worst? Oh wait, yeah. So when I was for my I think it was my eighth birthday, my really good family friends, they bought me a t shirt. It was like an American girl doll t shirt. And then they bought one for a doll <laughs> to <make laughs> match. And I did not like dolls. They scared me. Like I they freaked me out a lot when I was little. So I did not enjoy that gift at all and I never <laughs> used it. Oh, makes sense. That's so funny. Okay. Um, what song would you say best sums up your life? Hmm, that's a really good question. There's a lot of music. Um, hmm, the song that best sums up my life would probably be one of my favorite songs, Hey There Delilah. It's a really good song. Oh, yeah. that and is a good song. It just talks about like being happy and doing a lot for being very passionate about somebody else mm -hmm. and all the things that you would do just to make the other person happy. And I think that's a really good mentality to have. And it shows like if you really care about somebody, you'll do whatever it takes. I think that's good mentality to have. I never thought about it like that, like that song like that. Yeah, it's no. such a cute song. I do love that song. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Or would you want to have? What's it called? I would want to be um, a shape. Um, a a shapeshifter. Shape shape oh. yeah. yeah. I didn't know what it was called. Yeah. I just think that'd be really cool. You could just turn into anything. Or anyone. Or just change everything. What do you think you would turn into like for your first shape shifting? <laughs> Probably like like a bird, because <laughs> I would want to fly. Honestly, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, if you could choose anything to do for a day, what would it be? Travel. Oh, I would travel to where? Probably somewhere that's not in America. Somewhere that I wouldn't have a chance to go to. Either I would go to Greece, Ooh. or I would go to China. Mm hmm Huh. Um, what kitchen appliance do you use every day? The fridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, this one might take a little bit of thought, but right. if you could come up with the ideas, 
what do you think your friends would say to describe you? Restless. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. Um, hopefully funny. Um, short. I'm really short. <laughs> um, I don't know. Definitely, like, restless, energetic. I always have to be doing something. That's that's all I could really think of. Hmm. Along with the restless, mm -hmm. what is the longest you've gone without sleep and why? So the longest I've gone without sleep was definitely like like 24 hours. Why? I, do, I would <laughs> never do that. I think I took like a 15 minute power nap. <laughs> I don't know. I was just hanging out with my cousins and we were just like, you know, we we're hanging out and stuff. And then we just wanted to watch the sunrise. So we just stayed up. But the night before, it was like a Friday. So the night before was a school day. So mm. I got up at like six that morning uh -oh. and then <laughs> we stayed up and the sunrise was at like seven. Jesus. Well, power naps are essential. I'm sure it definitely helped. Oh, oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> is your glass half full or half empty? Half full. Why? Because, well, it depends on what I'm drinking. <laughs> because <laughs> if it's like really good juice that I don't have any more of, I'm going to think of it as half empty because then I won't be able to fill it up with more juice. <laughs> but if there's like something else, if it's like water, you'll be like, oh, I still have a glass of water left. You won't think of it as half empty. You'll be like, wow, I still have some water. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what three items would you take with you on a deserted island? Probably, um, like, what's it called? Flint and stone. Something to make on fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I would take a water purifier. <laughs> and <laughs> I would take something that I could, like, maybe, like, a solar thing so I could generate, like, energy somehow. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's smart with the sun. I have a general question. Mm -hmm. How come when everyone gets asked this question, no one responds a boat? Or like a plane oh or something God. to leave the I island. Was, I didn't realize <laughs> that leaving was that. an option. <laughs> it's like cheating the system. <laughs> You're right. I never even thought but about like that. But like no one ever says something that would like help them get off the <laughs> island. <laughs> I, I wouldn't choose a boat, not like a real boat, because I, I wouldn't no, have no, the like energy No, no, like a speedboat or something. Like hmm. No, that, that's a very valid point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think like when they're presented the question, the way it's worded, people just don't think they're allowed to leave. Don't, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, just that of curiosity. <laughs> that was a really good point. <laughs> yeah. Um, who is your hero? Hmm. I don't. I don't really know. I think I can't pick one person to idolize mm -hmm. because not that I don't think they deserve all like the recognition. I just feel like it's such like heavy title and like me being who I was wasn't shaped simply by one person it was shaped by like a community of great influences so can I name like a few of course you can okay I think I would have a few heroes one of them would definitely be my mom she's really cool <laughs> she does a lot for me she's really selfless I love her a lot another hero would definitely be Mr. Amato he's a really good guy also really selfless he also does so much and he's really fun, really cool. Um, and I'll just do three. Another hero would definitely probably be my cousin, Nicole. She's really cool. She always goes on adventures with me. We always have a really fun time together. And she was a really good influence in my life when I was growing up. Okay. Nice. That's sweet. Yeah. What is your biggest fear? And why is it your biggest fear? It's going to sound really bold, but I don't have any fears. Like, I do. Wow. But, like, I just don't consider them rational. So I draw, like, a very thick line between rational fears and irrational fears. Mm -hmm. Rational fears are things that are, like, constantly on my mind. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't really have many of those. And then irrational fears, there's a lot of irrational fears, but I just don't think about them because they don't really bother me. Like, I think they're, like, general fears that people would have, like, fear of, like, dying or fear mm -hmm. of getting hurt, stuff like that. But that's, like, not stuff that you could think about constantly because mm -hmm. it'll really stress you out. But for rational fears, maybe I don't really like the dark. I get but that. I'm like okay with it. But then like 
you know. So I don't think I really have any fears. It's not an answer you hear a lot from people. Yeah, you know, like kind of like the way that you broke that down. You just got to distinguish what you're actually afraid of, which is when people think about it, they're not really afraid of a lot of things, and then what you could be like ca- should be like cautious of. I feel like that's what people mostly answer with, like the yeah. dark or clowns or you know, like something spiders like that. or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. so small that it really doesn't yeah. bother you. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Like I never I'm not a fan of spiders, way. but I'm not exactly. afraid of them. Right. You know, I never looked at it that way. You're not afraid of spiders. If I had, All unless it was like a really joints. big one. <laughs> no, little ones I'm fine <laughs> with. Big ones I do not like. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Um, if you could go back in time. And change one thing, what would it be and why? I don't think I would change anything because I really, I'm like super spiritual kind of. Mm-hmm. And I really think that everything happens for a reason, even like the really bad stuff. And personally, I've never had something really tragic or anything happen to me that I would want to reverse yet. But I just really think that whatever happened to me was like meant to either change my character, teach me a lesson, or it was just meant to happen to influence my life in some way. And kind of like with the whole idea of like the butterfly effect, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if I were to change something, then how would it change me now? Because I'm really content where I am right now. I'm very happy. I have good friends. I have good family, stuff like that. So I wouldn't want anything to change what I have right now. That's a beautiful answer. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) What's the most daring thing you've ever done? I almost shaved my whole head once. (laughs) Oh, I remember that. (laughs) And I'm really happy I didn't. (laughs) What led you to even come up with such an idea like that? Like out of nowhere? I really don't know. I think I was on on Twitter or Instagram. (laughs) I saw a girl and she had her head shaved. And it wasn't like because she was sick or anything. It was just because she wanted to. And I Mm -hmm. thought it was a really cool, expressive way to do something. And also, it's like... Hair is such an easy object to change. If you want to dye it, you dye it, you dye it back. You mm-hmm. can cut it, it grows back. Mm-hmm. It's just so um, like malleable. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just so not so temporary. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, maybe I'll just try it. I was feeling a little impulsive, and I th- actually thought about it for a while, and I got a lot of imp- input, a lot of opinions. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. And then <laughs> it was... New Year's Day of 2019 and like it was me and all my cousins and all their friends and stuff in their kitchen and they had the shaver and everything we sectioned all my hair off and I was like yeah shave it cut it shave it all off and I was gonna donate all my hair too my hair is pretty long at this point so it was pretty cool and I was like yeah do it just do it and everybody was like oh well like I don't know and then they were gonna start at the top of my head and just start shaving it off and my cousin, Nicole, she was like, wait, start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. And I was like, all right, fine. So they started at the bottom. They cut my hair, the ponytails off. And then they started to go with the shaver, the razor. And then I freaked out because <laughs> they took a picture. And I was like, oh, my God. It was like, it was short. It was like shorter than a buzz cut. It was like right to my like scalp. Oh my gosh. It was so <sighs> short. And I freaked out. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. So then we just took all my hair down and just put it over it. <laughs> Did your parents know? My mom knew that I wanted to shave my head. She was 100% against it. She thought I would look really bad. And <laughs> she did not want me to do it. So then when I came home, I showed her, like, the bag of hair. And she was like, what did you do? <laughs> but she wasn't too mad. That's, That's good. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what is your favorite childhood memory? I have a really bad memory. But... So I have to think about this one for a minute. Okay. One day, I was in fifth grade. This is the only thing I can think of right now. My mom took me out of school, and we went to Massachusetts. and went to the Yankee Candle Factory, and it was, like, super cool there. And we spent, like, the whole day there. And it was just so, it was, like, different, and it was fun. It was just a nice day. Out of curiosity, you said you had a bad memory. Yes. What is that memory, if you don't mind sharing? No, no, like, I really just, like, my memory. Oh, I'm she really does bad oh, memory. Oh, oh, I thought you meant, like, a l- legit, like, specific bad memory. No, <laughs> oh, I, like... Something <laughs> automatically came to mind. <laughs> I just, like, can't remember anything for the life of me. <laughs> yeah, no, me either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Probably like temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> I think I often describe myself as like a switch. Like I'm really, I, I try to be like really, really nice and stuff, but like if there's certain things that could just like set me off and it will be like no warning, just bam, like a switch. And it'll be like, no, it's like, there's just certain things I can't tolerate. <laughs> Overall, I feel like you don't really, like, oh, with me, you never get to that point. I don't usually get to that point yeah. with a lot of people. I think it takes a lot, but, like, it'll, it, like, there's, like, no gradual, like, change. It's just, like, just goes on. Gotcha, nice, gotcha. nice, nice until I'm not until nice. Until you're done with it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, what did you want to be when you were small? Like, when I was younger? Yeah. I wanted to be a doctor. Really bad. Like, I was super into it. I wanted to be a doctor or um, a dentist. Did that change? Yeah, I don't want to do either of those things. <laughs> um, I don't have the stomach for it. I yeah. I do not like gore. I can't do, like, blood. I just, oh, it grosses me out. <laughs> I would never be able to do it. <laughs> what do you want to do now? Um, I want to go into advertising. Oh. Um, so, I'm excited cool. to do that. Yeah. What is one thing that you will never do again? Um, I don't know. I don't really have a good. I don't think that I would. Um, like a, like a big thing or like a small thing, because I could think of a lot of small things that I won't do. Anything? I mean, yeah, either one. Okay, there's a lot of things that I would never eat again, <laughs> because I'm a really picky eater. I would never eat like any condiment ever again. Because I think they're really gross. And I hate ketchup. Yeah, I was going to say, aren't you like against ketchup? I'm so against ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> so I would Is never eat ketchup again. reason? I just think it's so gross. It Seriously? smells so disgusting. <laughs> and like the smell of it actually like makes me gag. Do you like <laughs> tomatoes? Not raw. I could eat them cooked. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Gotcha. Wait, yeah. so what do you put on your burger? Or like... With your French fries, if you what? <laughs> hot sauce. I love hot sauce. Okay. So I put hot sauce on everything. If you put hot sauce on your French fries? Oh, absolutely. <gasps> or malt vinegar. Or what vinegar? <laughs> what? You've never had that? Like Five Guys, they have like malt vinegar. No. You no. just dip your fries in it. It's really good. You dip your fries in <laughs> vinegar. <laughs> yes. Essentially, oh it's my so goodness. delicious. I yeah. Mean, I like, right? kind of want to try it, but yeah. like I'm also a little scared. It's pretty good, but it does. It tastes like vinegar. Like salt and vinegar chips. So not oh, yeah, crazy not potion. I, yeah, no, on I that. don't love salt and vinegar chips. I don't know. Huh. It might be an experience to try it. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I'm probably going to be right out of college. So hopefully I'll have a job. Hopefully I will not be living with my parents, but I can't guarantee that. Um... I don't know. I plan, I really want to work really hard and be rich when I'm older, but not like gross rich, like billionaire rich. Like I just want to like have enough money so personally I could be like financially stable, but then I also want to give back a lot. So hopefully I'll just be having a really good job that I could work really hard at and get a lot of money so I could do good things with it. <laughs> Going off of that question, where do you see yourself in 10 years? So what, you'll be 27? Yeah, 28? 27, almost 30 years old. Hopefully yeah. I'll be really successful. And I mean, successful, not necessarily just in the means of like financially successful. Hopefully I'll be like really good, like mentally, emotionally, like I'll be healthy and stuff like that. Hopefully I'll have like good people in my life still. Could you see yourself having kids? That's a good question <laughs> because half of me says yes, because kids are really cute and my kids would be really good and really cool. <laughs> For sure. They would definitely <laughs> be really cool. But then another half is like, I don't know, because there's such a responsibility. Mm -hmm. and yeah. That's okay. Like, they're supposed to be. But they're also so expensive. And yeah. especially, like, I don't know, like, where I'm going to be. Like, I know a lot of entry-level jobs aren't paying a lot of money. So it's, like, yeah. the timing of everything. I don't know how that's all going to pan out. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you want to have kids generally when you're younger. Yep. Right. But then how am I going to be financially when I'm younger? Like, I'm not yeah. going to bring a child in this world if I can't support it. Like... It's just not, like, plausible. That's a good point. The other so half you of you says to. just stick, stick with dogs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you for joining us today. 
Of course. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh. Anytime. You guys had great questions. Thank Thanks. you for answering all of them. Yeah. Of I course. loved your answers. A lot of them were super unique and like oh, not, yeah. not ones you would hear. And like a lot of those were more common questions. Yeah. I think my favorite one Thank was you. the biggest fear one. Yeah. yeah. Like the rational. Don't have fears. <laughs> no, because you live such a good life when you have nothing to worry about. That is true. Exactly. Yeah. So Don't worry like about free. anything. Because yeah. everything passes, everything's temporary, and whatever happens is meant to be. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. Thank you again, Maddie. You're welcome.